everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making kimchi pibunkuksu, a spicy cold kimchi noodles dish. If you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. This meal is actually very simple to make. I did make this for six servings, but you can easily adjust the math and make it for however many it is that you need. I am chopping, well actually I'm just going to slice up into matchstick thin pieces some Persian cucumbers. You can use regular cucumbers if you'd like, but this is just for garnishing at the end. This is optional, but again, you know, pretty is nice. If you guys have been watching me for a while, then you know I like to do these things first because it keeps me from doing more dishes. Just trying to make life a little bit easier, that's all. Just set it aside once you're done, and then you can put your kimchi on top, so see? Less dishes. <laughs> now for this dish, we do want these kimchi pieces to be really small. I happen to have some that were already sour. By the way, yes, you want sour kimchi, but again, um, dice these up into tiny, tiny little tiny pieces. Just look, you think that's done? It's not done. We're gonna keep chopping these up until they're small enough. So again, continue chopping until they're really small fine pieces and then you'll be done with that. Once you have your pieces small enough, go ahead and set it aside in a large mixing bowl so we can go ahead and start making our seasoning mix. I'm just gonna throw everything right into the bowl. So we're gonna start with our garlic and then you'll see that I'm adding the hot pepper paste. Now with this part, add, I would say just start with a little bit and then add more as needed when you go and taste it. So otherwise it could be too spicy for some people. It just, I don't know, I guess it's preference, but I would just start with a little bit and then add more. But go ahead and add the rest of your ingredients into this and then we're just gonna give this all a very good mix until everything's nicely blended. And that's it for our seasoning mix. Just as long as it's all blended, you're done. Pretty simple, right? When you purchase your noodles, make sure you get the thin noodles. That's the kind you want for this particular dish. Well, now we did start off with boiling our hot pot of water to have our noodles ready to go. Now what you saw me do with my pointer finger and my thumb is basically measure. That's what I use for two servings of noodles. So I did that three times so I can have a big pot of noodles ready to go. Cook these according to your package. I think it only takes a few minutes, but because I did six servings, I did cook mine for about a good, I think eight minutes or so. Mix your noodles up occasionally just to make sure all the noodles do separate and then taste it. You wanna taste a piece of it just to make sure it is chewy and not hard, and then you know that it's cooked through. Once you know your noodles are done, go ahead and grab a colander and go ahead and throw your noodles in there and rinse it cold because this is a cold kimchi noodles dish. So rinse, rinse, rinse. If it's too hot, do what I did. I just grab some chopsticks and then I'm gonna pick it up and mix it around just to make sure all of my noodles are cold throughout. Once I had the water running through it all and I knew it was uh, cold enough for me to touch and handle, I went ahead and used my hands just to make sure I could get the feel of it to make sure every piece of it is cold. Give everything a nice good rinse and then you're just gonna separate them into portions and start serving your noodles to plate them. Serve these in large bowls because this is a mixed noodles dish and you wanna be able to mix it. So we're gonna grab our noodles, add our seasoning mix that we just made, top it off with some sesame seeds, the matchstick cucumbers that we had sliced up earlier, and drizzle some sesame seed oil on there as well. Give this all a very good mix and that's it. Pretty easy. Just continue mixing this until every piece of noodle is red. <laughs> you want to get the flavor through all of it, okay? So here's a fun little superstition fact Asians believe in. You don't cut your noodles at all, ever. It basically means you're shortening your life, so don't do it. <laughs> if you guys like this recipe, please subscribe. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.